the past five years, I've had a Dyson V8 Absolute, and for a little over a year, I've had a Dyson V11 Outsize. Both of them being extremely good cordless vacuums, in my personal opinion, and I have close to zero complaints about them. But the main flaw with Dyson uh, products in general is the price. They are expensive. The Dyson V11 Outsize is about seven to eight hundred dollars and if you get it with all the cool attachments it's a thousand if you want to get the dyson v8 it's more affordable at about four three to five hundred but still it is expensive so when someone wants a cordless vacuum a lot of people may look into some of the cheaper models and that's what i wanted to try today so i got one of the cheapest cordless vacuums on amazon this was $94 with tax, it came out to $101. There was one that was cheaper. I could have gotten it for $80, but it didn't have very many reviews and the reviews, I mean, they were good, but didn't have as many. This has a couple thousand reviews, I remember, and they all got, were pretty good. So here we go. This is the Pretty Care W200 cordless vacuum. And I am excited to try this out and I will be giving a full review in the future. This is just an unboxing and first impressions of it. So it comes in a really small box. Like, that's my hand. It's a really small box. Um, Alright. Now this is very much like most cordless vacuums nowadays, based off of a Dyson V8. They all look very similar. Let's see, they do, they do give you an instruction manual, which I do like. And I don't know if this is an extra filter or the filter. If it's an extra filter, love that. If it is the filter, that's fine. It is a small filter. That's gonna be my first complaint so far. This is a small filter. So the airflow going through this won't be too much. This is the crevice tool. Um, definitely feels cheaper, but it seems fine. I do like that it has a notch. This is the wand. It is collapsible, which is nice. I know a lot of people buy a uh, wands for their Dyson V8 so that it can, it can collapse. Um, that actually feels pretty good. It doesn't feel cheap. And this is metal. One thing I don't like is that there is a gap right there between that for the electric connectors. Don't love that. I wish it was all one uniform thing like it is here. But that's all right. Um, no real complaints other than that's kind of short, even on its biggest setting. Who knows? We'll see what it's like with the vacuum on. That's the vacuum. Let's get the rest of it out. Cleaner head. Charger. And another accessory. Get the box out of here. Okay. This is the unit. It's pretty small. Um, okay, first thing I don't like. This is not balanced very good. The, oh, that's heavy. The, the bottom of this has almost no weight at all, but the top is really heavy. So doing above... Oh, this is really heavy, actually. Ooh, that's not good. Um, so doing above floor cleaning might not be great. It does have an internal battery. It's not removable. That's okay. Um, let's go ahead and take the tape off. I don't like this kind of tape because it always leaves a residue. Okay, this one was okay. As a basic emptying, it's got a foam seal, not a rubber seal. Um... But that's fine, I guess. I have to remember, this is a cheap cordless. Um, does have a screen at the top here. Um, does have a protective thing. But that's got a screen to tell you battery life. I do like that. Um, 
And, okay, you can twist this. Oh, wait, I, maybe you can twist. What can you twist here? Can you twist the top? No, you can't twist the top because... Huh. I can maybe read the instruction manual on that. Um, but yeah, that's not balanced very well. I wish that there was more weight. Like on the Dysons, there's weight here because of the battery. I don't know where this battery is. Um, since I can't really see it, I'd imagine it's quite a small battery. Um, but, okay. Charger. It's That's cheap. It's just a cheap charger. Nothing high quality about that. Okay. This definitely looks like the Dyson combination tool. Okay. Um, this feels fine, but the actual tips of these bristles, they're not soft. They are actually quite jagged. You can see that they're all cut at different, let me see if I can see that. They are all cut at different lengths. Um, so, I mean, I don't think it, it'll scratch, but... There could have been some more thought in this design. <laughs> um, I guess, what's this? Maybe a wall mounting bracket? Let's open it up. Is this because there's a little hole down here? Okay. Oh wait, it goes... It goes like that. Okay, it's got a... Yeah, using sticky tape is not gonna work. You're gonna have to screw that in. Um, cause this, that's kinda heavy. Oh, there's a little button here. What's that for? Press the button and turn the handle to open dust cup. Ah, okay, there we go. So the motor's there. So it was an extra filter. I like that. This is a small filter though. But uh, that's all right. Um, and I imagine, okay, you can take all this apart. That is metal, I like that. Okay. And I am going kind of in depth here because I genuinely want to know what the quality of this is like. We're going to, okay. So honestly, build quality, it's not that bad. It feels solid. The, I just don't like how heavy it is. And you know, I know like the V11 outsize, is it heavy? Yes, but it's distributed really well. This is awfully distributed. It's really heavy because um, the top is heavy and there's no weight on the bottom. Okay, cleaner head. I am a little bit nervous about this. I hope that they're kind of stiff. Ooh, they're not at all. Uh, this might be a deal breaker for me. I actually might return this because of this reason. Um, this is like a dusting brush. There's nothing stiff about this brush roll. There were cordlesses that had stiff brush rolls. This is not that. I do appreciate the hose, like a real hose, and I appreciate the rubber-coated oiled wheels. That's very nice. Um, and I appreciate the headlights in this. And let me see the suction channel. Suction channel, it certainly could be better, but I guess it could be worse. More rubber wheels. Um, okay, one thing I really don't like is just that brush roll. That's not soft, that's not aggressive in the slightest. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and push the power button. That motor sounds really cheap. Um, it's got two power modes, that's nice. 
Um, this also does claim to capture 99.99% of particles. Um, I don't know how this $93 cordless can do 99.99 and not even the Dysons, which are $1,000. They only do 99.97, so we'll see what that means. Um, so let's go ahead and move some stuff out of the way. And I want to go ahead and give this a try because I want to give it a try on this rug and I want to give it a try on the carpet. So let's go ahead and move this back. Let's assemble it. Because I, I want to like this. I bought this genuinely because I thought it would be an okay cordless. Okay. Okay, so actually the height is not too big of an issue. The swivel on it is really easy. A little too easy. But okay, let's go ahead and give it a try. Is this a joke? What is this cleaner head? It doesn't hurt my hand in the slightest. Okay, let's bring it up to the higher section. Yeah, um, okay. I want to give it a go on the carpet now because I just want to see, like, is it going to line? Is it, like, what's it going to do? I will vacuum in the direction that lifts the pile. So, honestly, I don't have a ton of complaints about this vacuum. It really fails me on this cleaner head. This cleaner head's a joke. It, it's a joke. It, um, and wow, it already tangled. I didn't even know there was hair on the floor. Uh, oh my, oh wow. Okay, so clearly this problem, this vacuum has a problem with tangling. So if you have long hair, this may not be it. I think this, you know what, I got an idea. Let me go, okay. I'll be back. I'm going to go set up a, a pickup test. I'm going to do hard floor, the rug, and I'm going to do the thick carpet. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so we've got some pom-poms, some wooden pegs, some aquarium rocks, and some heavier blue rocks. I'm going to do this on the high power setting to give it the best chance that it can. Pom-poms are going to represent maybe some dust bunny, some hair. The wooden pegs, maybe some wood chips or some cereal, something like that. The... Aquarium rocks, that's going to represent, you know, maybe some of the heavier debris and the bigger aquarium blue rocks. Um, it's just to see, well, what can it do? All right, I'm running it in its higher power setting. And I guess we can try it on its low power setting as well.
I can feel the stuff in the in the wand be trying to be picked up. Can't do it. It can't pick that up. I guess let's try the. Oh, that cleaner head is stiff. Okay, it couldn't do it. Let's try on the thicker carpet now. Same materials. We'll do we'll do it on high because it's the thick carpet. at the same stuff. All right, let's get to the hard floor now. We're going to move to the bathroom. It's the same thing. I think this is actually going to be an okay vacuum on the hard floors. I just don't know about this mess. Suck it up. Yeah, sorry, I didn't want to do that because it'd be so loud, but we can do it on the carpet for sure. falling out of it, but it wouldn't pick this one piece up. There we go. 
So the V11 picked everything up. So, opinion on the pretty care cordless vacuum. I'm gonna use it in my house for a few days, see how I like it. Because I might like it just in normal use, but for heavier things, it just doesn't seem like it can, it can do it. it. There's still stuff falling out of it. And I also want to mention, when this was out of the box, this was at 75% battery. It's at 24 now. That loses battery really fast. Um, and I don't like that. So. Uh, I will keep this in my house for a few days and I might exchange it for one of the other cheaper models that actually had a brush roll. Cause this one really doesn't have a brush roll. Uh, but yeah, there we go. That's the Pretty Care W200 cordless vacuum unboxed, briefly demoed, and I'll give you a real review in the future. Thanks for watching. Bye.